everybody, Adam Rucker here, and I am at one of my favorite places on the entire planet, Walt Disney World, and specifically Epcot. I'm here with my good friend, Brian. How's it going? We're gonna see what we can get done today. It's about a half day right now, so I'm gonna go all out, get everything out. The weather is super nice, but very windy, so if it gets a little noisy, bear with me. But, uh, let's go see what we can do to the future! Well, we just set up our Fast Pass Pluses for the day. Um, they have the kiosk here on the other side of where the pen traders are. And you can pick one attraction from the top category and then two from the second. So we're going to meet Mickey and then we're going to do um, the Seas with Nemo and friends. So we got here later in the day so there weren't as many options. But if you get here in the morning you can do stuff like Soren and test track and all those things so right now we're headed into one of my favorite places here at Epcot Club Cool but first check it out right next to Club Cool Franzi's favorite there's a Starbucks at Epcot that's bananas this place has changed it's you know always thinking ahead thinking to the future the, well Starbucks is not the future that but is, that's what Starbucks is like in the future yeah. okay I've been inside I'm sure Brian, one of my favorite drinks here at Club Cool is called Beverly. Yeah. Do you want to try it? I've tried it plenty of times. Uh, but it's different. It's a, They've changed it. They've upgraded the syrup. So, no, I don't want to take your Beverly. They said they were you running just, out. You just they said they were running out because it's so good. I love it. Yes. Margarita says it's true. Beverly. Tastes like medicine. Tastes like medicine is what that guy just said. And we love medicine, right? Good. Okay, Brian didn't fall for the Beverly trick, but they've they've kind of updated the flavors here, so there's some new ones that I haven't had before. Vegeta Beta from Japan is actually pretty good. It tastes like orange. I mean, it is orange, but it tastes like orange too. And there's carrots on it, so I guess there's vegetables? I don't know. So with the Fast Pass Plus, we just have to ride on in to meet the characters. I just got really nervous. I haven't seen them in a while, and I don't know. I just like them so much. He's the boss. He's really famous. Celebrities intimidate you right now. It's true. We're right after these people, but he's right there. What should I say to him? Start with hello. Great to see you. Okay. Ready? Hey, Vicky. How's it going? You doing good? It's been a while since I've gotten to see you. So I'm glad, glad that you're here. Cats Pass Plus is working out great. Yeah. Ready? Goofy is one of my all time favorites. Goof, how are you doing? It's been way too long. I know. I watch you on your parades, on TV. I watch me in this clubhouse. You're all over the place. Yeah. I love it. I love it. You're on. Thanks, dude. Have a good day. Alright. See ya. So goofy. <laughs> So right now, we're in the Land Pavilion, and this room has barely changed since I was six years old. When I was a little kid, I remember um, being in here and having lunch in here. They have a big restaurant. Right now, we're going to my favorite ride, Living with the Land. Um, but this is a rare occurrence. There's a line for it. I've, uh, I've never waited for Living with the Land, ever. Um, but it says it's 10 minutes. Um, but I would say worth it. Definitely worth it. Please remain seated in your boat. That is my favorite part. As we learn more about these crops, we discover that many are rich like in vitamins and minerals, while others are well adapted to growing in less than day. ideal conditions. For instance, the fluted pumpkin thrives in well, the worst soil was conditions here, of I'd Africa. Be excited With about its it. edible seeds and leaves, the pumpkin could become an important staple for areas where other crops don't grow easily. The unique looking dragon fruit is actually a member of the cactus family. The fruits are yeah. high in vitamin C, rich in antioxidants. And Who doesn't love living with the land? And I also like living with the sea, too. Which is why I'm going to Finding Nemo at the seas. Oh, pretty creative, <laughs> right? It was good.
Is he orange with white stripes and looks kind of like you, only smaller? Yes, have you seen him? Seen who? Fish, where are you? Oh. Swim over and say goodnight to your old pal Bruce. Favorite part. Uh oh, I think I'm gonna get motion sick. Here we go. Duh! We are at Agent P's World Showcase Adventure. Brian is picking up one of the devices. We are going to do an adventure in France. Okay, so you're gonna go to a France and then you'll push the middle button. And then they're gonna tell you, Major Monogram and Carl, they'll tell you all you need to know. Okay, all right? sounds good. And when you get finished, it'll give you an option to either keep, uh, playing, or... keep playing or put it in the Dropbox over there. Okay, sounds all good. Right? Thanks. Thanks, Laura. Yep. Here we go! <laughs> I love the technology that Agent P has. Wow, flippy, flippy. God only I haven't knows what seen this is one of those go. in years. They're coming back though, Brian. They're coming back. I heard flip phones. I'm there's no antenna to pull out. Back on the rise. Okay, so what exactly is this? What do we do? What's We're happening? We're gonna go save the world. This is how we stay in communication with the team. Okay. Um, and we have to, we're actually um, en route to Par or Paris right she out of France. She looked very famous. Like she, she had her she was whole, not famous. she was covered, she like, didn't want anyone to see, she was very ooh la la. <laughs> That's what happens when you're in, when you're in France. <laughs> Alright Brian, we are in Paris, France. Click that button, see what they've got. Okay, we're here. Welcome to the team. On this That's dangerous me. assignment, you'll be armed with just your wits and our field operative notification equipment, or for one. Or we can pronounce it phone, sir. Travel friends, press the OK button to activate your mission. Well, it looks like we're here. It told us to go find the waterfront artist easels and then press OK. So here we are. Wow! Looks like the lens on the relay device is fitted with a spectral enhancer. It makes the otherwise invisible deaccentinator rays visible. Press OK to turn on. Aha. OK. Oh my god. <laughs> OK. Move away. OK. Well, that wasn't good. No. Quickly, the data Not you good. captured should let us scramble the relay controls before he uses them again. Better get out of the way. Then we'll check the damage at that restaurant. Stand in front of this door and press OK. I knew it. Gosh, it's a signal. Doofenshmirtz. It's up to something. It's up to something. Okay, got his email working again. Oh, good. Good job. Okay. Found the bookshelf. Found the bookshelf. I don't know what's gonna happen. Agent, stand near the books and activate your remote scanner. Oh my gosh. I'm doing that. Mm-hmm. I knew it. Yes. Hair sample. And it's from Doofenshmirtz. Oh. I knew it. That window, though, before Carl tries that impressionism filter on you. We got it. Go to Plume et Palette. Don't anyone dare correct my French. <laughs> I'm, I don't claim to speak French well, but... But you sure tried. It's very pretty here. 
You know, I've been to Paris twice, Brian. We, I think all of us know you've been to Paris. Well, all of us. I've been twice. It's <laughs> magnificent. If you want to watch those videos, there, I still have new ones coming out, but I've got several from the Disney land in Paris, and it's awesome. Have you seen those videos, Brian? I have. I have seen them. And what'd you think? Just great, right? Sure. Okay. Thank you so much. Oh. I think we need to look that way. Ready? Mm-hmm. Up here? Yep. Okay. <laughs> wow, he got out. <laughs> Yay, we did it. Nice work, agent. Thank you. Yes. You with your signal, Move to another location, then call us back. Okay. okay. Ow, I think we're done, though, right? I think the mission's over. Um, Doofenshmirtz <laughs> fell, but he's still... Oh, we fell again. So we're returning our phone. Mission's over, Goodbye we won. Where does it go though? Back to headquarters. See you later. What? Who knew there was even something there? Agent P did. That was awesome. You should definitely do it, it's fun. They have missions in all the different countries, World Showcase, and it's fun. Lots of little tricks happen all over the place. Yep. So we are in France. We just left the France movie. And I saw these little Eiffel Tower, the metal Eiffel Towers, and it reminded me, these are the exact same ones that all those street vendors were selling when Franzi and I were there. And they were selling these for about five five for four euro or, or one a piece. And you, you could buy like ten for nine euro. They try to cut a deal with you. Here, the this little one is seven dollars. So, whereas you could buy them literally from hundreds of people right in front of the Eiffel Tower for uh, a euro a piece. Uh, but now I haven't seen this one before. That's pretty cool. How much is this one? Thirty dollars. Thirty dollars. Okay, Disney. No, ma'am. Not gonna happen. French mini is getting it. So look at it. her. Fashionable. What happened, man? Her hands are less poofy. Her gloves, she gets smaller gloves. In. She's got a little more streamlined shoe there. Goodness gracious. She uh, looks a little different than I remember. So for years, I've heard about these trains. I've walked by them. I've never stopped to take a look. I didn't even know there was a pathway through the middle of them. So I am now looking at the trains in Germany. And it's just super cool because everything is miniaturized, but it's um, to scale. So there's little people in little villages, and the little river. Everything's little, but it's cool. Charlie, my nephew, would lose his mind for these trains. Oh, they even have little flower and garden festival posters up. That's pretty cool. Wow, it's been a great day here, hasn't it? <laughs> yes, it has. The weather has been so nice. The lines weren't too bad. We're going to finish it up at Spaceship Earth, right where we started. And, uh... Go on a journey back through time with Dame Judi Dench. She's great. She She's just treasure. narrates the whole history of the world. There's a ride inside that thing. And did you know that when it rains, that the dome is made so that... Has a gutter system that yeah. empties into the world. Yep. Recycles all that water. And uh, it's pretty cool. It's not just a big golf ball looking thing. It's actually got some... <laughs> fun facts. Fun facts. Fun facts and a ride inside of it, so. Here we go. Can you believe Morse code used to be a thing? Yeah, I can believe it. I'm very good at Morse code. Oh, right, I'm so sure. I still use it at most the There's everyone's favorite technologist. Technologist. That's a word, right? The official name, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and just like that, it is 
dark and my night is over. Brian, did you have a good time? I had a great time. I, you look kind of creepy with the light from the, yeah. Leave me a comment with what your favorite attraction at Epcot is. Mine would have to be Soren. We didn't do it today, but you can hear the music from Soren, and it's just reminding me how awesome Soren is. Brian? Test track. Test track Tron, is. Tron's test track. Test track is pretty cool. So thanks for watching, everybody. Make sure you're subscribed up above, following me on Twitter down below, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye. I have to say, we've spent the last probably 20 minutes at this Leave a Legacy uh, thing, which is right as you walk in, these gigantic marble statues. They used to sell the opportunity to take a picture and it'll be here forever at Epcot. So uh, several years back, Franzi and her family got Leave a Legacy photos and I've been looking for hers and I can't find it, but I found this adorable little girl who looks just like Franzi. But that's not Franzi. No. And if you want to see it, it's at 21 East 5H21. I couldn't remember where Franzi's is located, neither could Franzi, I even called her. So let her. us know if you find her. <laughs> so let us know if you find her. She's over here somewhere, so as you walk in, she's to the left on one of these columns, either in the first, second, third, fourth, fifth. So anywhere. She's anywhere. Anywhere on this side. But the big challenge is find Franzi, this isn't her, <laughs> and um, tweet it to me, because I'd love to know where I could find Franzi's legacy here at Epcot till the end of time. Okay, bye guys. Adam.